Hey guys, Mars Singh here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so releasing very soon on Global. Uh, the time this video goes up if you're watching it straight away, it's going to be in six and a half hours time. Funnily enough, at the same time the World Tournament starts. Uh, we are going to be getting the new stage of Extreme Super Battle Road, which for Global is Movie Heroes. Now, Movie Heroes has gotten buff after buff ever since the 7th anniversary so unless you have gotten very unlucky in all of your summons since July uh, I feel like this stage is going to be very very easy for a lot of people which is funny because it's uh, back in the day when the normal SBR version came out it was the hardest out of this set to get the no items run with back then based on the units that were available whereas now i feel like this is going to be yet another one like the artificial life forms where i probably will just get the no item run done on the first try because this team is just absolutely busted beyond all belief now so we're going to go through the category as always with my team building guides we're going to go over my top picks and honorable mentions for the team if there's any units that you think i missed out or that i should have talked more about let me know down below in the comment section and of course if you do find the guide helpful at all do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new so let us jump straight in so first of all we obviously have to talk about these two the gammas um, these guys releasing only a week later than JP on Global. Obviously, these guys were not out when the stage came out on JP. Uh, they will make an absolute mockery of this stage. If you watched the video of the no items run on the Artificial Lifeforms SBR stage, these guys pretty much one or two turned, like, every single fight. They're just absolutely ridiculous. Gamma 1 in slot 1 with his guard, builds up damage reduction, and then Gamma 2 in slot 2 obviously just goes off loads of extra attacks, builds up crit chance. Um, these two are just absolutely ridiculous. So regardless of who you use as the leader, obviously if you use one of them, they will get the 200% leader skill buff. Um, these two are just absolutely crazy. Will do tons of damage, lots of good defense. Uh, this guy nullifies Key Blast super attacks and Gamma 1 can counter uh, unarmed super attacks. So, both of these guys, very, very good. Uh, absolutely will crush this stage. Now, obviously, ever since the gods came out during the anniversary, uh, these guys are super good for Super Battle Road as well. One of the main reasons, of course, is the fact that on their first appearance, they guard. And then, as long as you get 20 key, they get an additional super attack. And if you get the full 24 key, their attack's effective against all types, which obviously is very good, especially for things like Super Battle Road, where you're fighting against multiple enemies of different typings. So, very, very good. Very common to get uh, if you get that 20 key and get the extra super. If you've got dupes or skill orbs and built them for full additional, which is the best build for them, then it's very likely you can triple super quite regularly. And again, if you're getting the effective against all types, they're going to be doing tons of damage. And then if you do happen to get to turn four, uh, you can obviously go ahead and transform, um, and then they will just melt anything in their path, um, or obviously have access to the active skill, as long as there's one enemy left uh, whose HP is 50% or less. So you can kind of use that as a finisher, especially if there's one enemy left, but they've stacked up all their attacks in slot one then damage dealing active skills are always really useful for that. So these guys obviously very, very good as well. And if you use them as the leader, then of course they're getting the 200% leader skill buff. Very, very powerful. And then the Worldwide Celebration also gave us the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the Metal Cooler movie. They're another movie hero's lead. They also give the extra buff to pure Saiyans for the 200% lead. So them and the gods and some of the other units that we'll mention are going to be on that 200% team. Now, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this unit. Um, they are ideally a slot 2 unit, but they can be very good on here. If you're running them as the leader or you're running a friend one, they do kind of make like a perfect third slot floating unit. Can get a bunch of additional attacks. Chances are you're not going to build up to their morale boost, which is their biggest problem anyway, even in longer content. But you have to perform three supers and receive seven attacks. So... The chances of you getting that in the three to four turns before the fight is over are very unlikely. So these guys are probably the bottom pick in terms of who to use as the leader just because I think they're the least valuable out of the leader units to even bring into the event in the first place. But 
Obviously, they are still able to put out quite a lot of damage. If you pull dupes to them, obviously, they are going to be doing quite a lot of work. Um, but, yeah, these guys are probably the last pick out of the four, I would say, for the actual leader of the team. So, next up, we have the uh, uh, the Super Saiyan Goku from the Worldwide Celebration. Um, I don't think you can make a full powerful comeback movie heroes team, so can't use him as the lead. But he's probably better on other teams anyway, because when there's two uh, Carnival Gokus, he can't get, you know, only one of them can get the revive. Uh, the revive, definitely very useful for uh, Super Battle Road. You only need to be at 59% or less HP at the start of the turn, which is very easy to do. Like, you're going into turn two or even going into the second or third fight after taking a bunch of damage, it's very easy to be below that HP threshold. And then you get the revival, so definitely very, very nice. Um... And of course, he does do quite decent damage as well as raising defense. If he gets hit first, he uh, gets a, not only a buff, but is also effective against all types. So very good defensive unit, can hold it down in slot one, um, whilst also doing a pretty decent amount of damage and having the revival. So definitely a top pick for the team, even if you're not running him as the leader. And so then next up, we have a unit that is uh, easily like LR level in these kind of events which is the God Goku, because we are fighting every single one of the three fights in this SBR stage is a movie boss and their minions. So obviously the goal would be to take out all the minions first, leave the boss alive as long as possible, and then that means this God Goku is going to be getting his full passive, which means he has 77% damage reduction. He does also seal, which is a very useful ability for Super Battle Road as well. So this guy is an absolute must run, full on MVP on the team. You just have to make sure you're uh, targeting the minions first. Unfortunately, with how ridiculously powerful the movie heroes team is, like for example, you could target one of the minions with the LR gods, and then the chances are they're gonna take him out and then do a bunch of additional attacks, which will then go to the first enemy, who is the movie boss for all of these stages the way the enemy is uh, the way the enemies are laid out on the display so you could possibly get into a situation where this guy's coming onto rotation and the actual movie boss character is already dead which then means he doesn't get the damage reduction which can leave him a little bit vulnerable but obviously you can play around that by putting him in the right slot where he doesn't have to take a bunch of attacks. Getting the two rainbow orbs so he gets the extra attack and defense. And he is at least going to be sealing. So if he's only being attacked by one person, you can make sure he's sealing them and not getting uh, hit by a super when he doesn't have that damage reduction active. So the absolute MVP and top pick for the team is this god Goku. Next up, we have STR Piccolo, also from the Worldwide Celebration. Uh, very, very good unit. Supports movie heroes. Uh, gets his full buff when you have the movie hero rotation. So just overall, very, very strong. He also seals super attacks. Uh, he guards, so he's very good defensively. Like Overall, he's just he's kind of like a mini carnival Goku, right? You put him in slot one. He gets hit, gets buffs, does decent damage. He also seals, like as I said, which is a super useful ability. So many units on this team have the ability to do that as well. So you can keep the enemy team just completely locked down. And uh, this Piccolo is going to be very good. And you can just use him as a floating support unit if you want to. Uh, and then obviously target a different enemy in slot 3 to get that seal. One of the good strategies is to use the weaker hitting units to keep the actual movie boss character sealed. So that you can keep them alive while destroying their minions. And then they can't super attack you. Because you just constantly keep them sealed. So this Piccolo is another top choice. Basically you want to pick your leader and then put God Goku and this guy on the team if you have them. They are like the two top picks once you have picked your leader. So very, very good. Uh, then we have the AGL Gotenks. So no one really talks about this guy anymore. I wanted to mention him. Um, he's aged a bit in terms of his overall like defense. But I guess it depends on the RNG, right? Because he can launch multiple super attacks. Uh, he raises defense on each super. But he's an AoE unit that has a 30% chance to stun each of the enemies. So if you get really good RNG... You could have someone like God Goku in slot one, tanks a bunch of hits, and then this guy super attacks and just stuns everybody. And then you've pretty much guaranteed the W for that fight at that point. So this guy, very, very good. He does give support to time limit category allies. So if you are bringing any of the Gogetas from Movie Heroes, 
then he will be supporting them. But even with no other units on the team for him to support, I think he's worth bringing for the AoE and the stun. So, definitely a very useful unit. I think I probably will throw him on the team, at least for the first attempt for the no item. I think he's going to be absolutely great. And if you get those clutch stuns, it can be a very easy win. So then we have the AGL Pycon, uh, the GOAT. He's been good for quite a while now. I've seen a bit of a resurgence lately, but especially in Super Battle Road, he's another unit that can seal as long as you get a Rainbow Orb, and then he has the built-in chance to dodge as well. If you get the Type Orbs, he's also providing support, so he can just be very, very useful on the team as a third slot floating unit, providing support, sealing the enemy, and then having that chance to dodge um, if he doesn't dodge, he can take quite a bit of damage, so you do have to be aware of that, but another solid pick for the team. Then we have Jacko, if he did summon on the Resurrection of F Blues banner, I know a lot of people did skip it, but he's another very solid unit. You can put him in slot 1, he has a 70% chance to dodge, he also has a 70% chance to stun. So definitely very, very good. If you put him in slot 2 or 3, he still has a 50% chance to dodge. So if you don't want to rely on him as the slot 1 tank, he's still a very good unit to bring on the team, even if just for that 70% chance to stun the enemy. So he can be a very useful addition to the team as well. Uh, then we have the actual resurrection of F Blues themselves. Now, I talked about it when I did the showcases and stuff for them. They're not the best Super Battle Road unit because, like, you get your first two turns where Goku can do additional attacks. He's building up his stats, and then you switch into Vegeta. If the card started off as just the Vegeta form, then he would be pretty solid for uh, Super Battle Road. But the Goku portion of the card, definitely not the strongest when it comes to super battle road but i do still think they could be useful on the team they link up well with other units on the team as well which obviously helps so they can be a solid unit overall if you did pull them otherwise they're not like a top priority but they definitely get an honorable mention for being on the team next up we have this trunks uh, i feel like people sleep on this trunks i think he's a really good unit even if you're not running any other hybrid saiyans He's really, really good. He's got decent stats. He raises his defense on super and can multiple super. And he has a chance to stun on his super attack. So again, stunning is probably the most powerful mechanic in Super Battle Road. Because it not only stops the enemy from attacking you on that turn. But it keeps them locked down for the next turn as well. So this guy definitely can be very good. If you get into a situa situation where he has to take multiple hits and he doesn't get his additional supers, then obviously he can get caught out. But I think he deserves an honourable mention. I've used him in quite a few Super Battle Road stages and I think he is very, very good. Uh, then we have this Piccolo that got his easy A during the Worldwide Celebration. Uh, he raises defense for one turn, does supreme damage to all enemies, and has a medium chance to stun. So basically, like the Gotenks, you're bringing him along for the AoE. Uh, again, you could get really good RNG, and he just stuns everybody. Uh, he also changes uh, orbs into STR, and is a nuking-style unit. So it's very possible for him to be able to do pretty crazy damage. Um... He also gets a guaranteed crit and six key uh, when facing two or more enemies. The crit is once only, but in Super Battle Road, unless you, like, if you have him on turn one, you could put him in slot three and he's going to AOE crit everyone and then he's not going to be back before the fight is uh, over anyway. But he could probably even honestly run him on main rotation. It's a shame he shares a name with the other Piccolo because that Piccolo in slot one and this guy in slot two would be great. Except for, you know, they're not going to share any links because they have the same name. Bit unfortunate, but this guy definitely very, very good on the team as well. I mean, you imagine you have a team with like this guy and the Gotenks. Like, if you get good RNG, it would be an absolute cakewalk. So, not that it's not already, like if you have the Gammas and all that kind of stuff. But this guy definitely very good on the team as well. Uh, then we have God Vegeta. I thought I would mention him here just because otherwise I would feel bad. He got shafted so bad in comparison to God Goku. Um, he does have a great chance to stun when there's a movie boss enemy, so 70% chance to stun is pretty good. Um, but, you know, he's just one of those units. Chance to guard obviously really hurts him. If the guard doesn't go off, he can potentially take crazy amounts of damage. But he's another unit that you could consider bringing, especially because the 70% stun chance is obviously going to be very useful. 
and he is on uh, the 200% lead for the AGL Goku and Vegeta, or he's just on the gods team. Like He can be very decent on the team, even though he's not the best. Uh, then we have this free-to-play unit from the Worldwide Celebration. They have a 70% chance to dodge. They seal on super attack. Um, you won't be able to exchange into the Goku at all, I don't think. I don't think there's any way. You, well, I guess if the fight really drags on, but with how powerful this team is, you're, it's honestly going to be quite difficult to even do that. But these guys can be a good free-to-play option with the dodge chance and the ceiling. Um, they can get caught out, definitely, but I feel like they could be a very good unit to bring, especially as a free-to-play option. So then we have the... Uh, this old, old Super Saiyan Goku from the Metal Cooler. You can see the good old Metal Cooler core in the background there. The reason why this guy is good for Super Battle Road is simply the fact that he has a great chance to stun. Um, he also has a built-in chance to crit. So you just give this guy full additional. And if he doesn't stun on the first one, hopefully you get the additional super and he gets the stun. But 70% chance to stun is obviously very good now his easy a is a bit outdated in terms of his stats and everything so if he doesn't stun and then he has to eat a bunch of attacks he will take quite a bit of damage but especially if you don't care about no item runs and you are just loading up on defensive items this guy can be very good solely because of the 70 percent chance to stun plus he's a super saiyan goku so he links up well with all the units on the team that you're potentially going to be bringing and then last but not least, I wanted to highlight these two, the Physical Trunks and the AGL Goten with their EZA. They are uh, both pretty solid. They're both providing support if there's another, like, obviously for Trunks, it's a Goten or a Krillin on 18. And for Goten, it's a Trunks or a Krillin on 18. They're providing each other support. They have damage reduction. They do solid damage. They stack attack and defense for a couple of turns. Like, these guys can be a very good rotation. The only downside is neither of them are the best in slot one if there's going to be a super or multiple supers. But this is definitely a rotation that can work very nicely on this team. So... There you go. Those are the top picks and honourable mentions for movie heroes. If we have a quick look here at anyone we potentially missed. Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku has a lot of good status effects and stuff on his super. But he's quite outdated now so he would take quite a bit of damage. The Tech Goku and Vegeta can be very good. You're probably never going to get the fight to go long enough to get their fusion for the Scouter. But they can definitely be a solid option. Um, the... Physical LR Gogeta, I guess, could be pretty decent, right? After their EZA, they have built-in chance to dodge. Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 provide a lot of support. They also seal. Uh, we don't have Hachan yet on uh, Global, unfortunately. Um, Tapion is all right. Defensively, lowers attack. Can transform into Harudagan, so you can get some uh, turns of free damage. Krillin is a decent support unit, but he's aged quite badly. His defense is not the best. Uh, this Icarus and Gohan, they can stun, they have that ability where if you drop below a certain amount of HP they give you a full heal. The only problem is without an EZA, no idea why they didn't get that during the Worldwide Celebration by the way, but without an EZA, super outdated, they will get absolutely crushed by attacks, so probably not worth bringing. I forgot about the fact this guy has an EZA alongside the STR Piccolo, he can be pretty good, he also has a stun chance. So he can be a very solid unit to bring on the team as well. Um, and then, who else? Is there anyone else we missed? Bardock and Gine can be okay. Uh, you probably won't get to use their active skill. Um, but they can be decent. Uh, and then I think that's it in terms of really the top picks and honorable mentions. So let me know down below, like I said, if there's any units I missed out or you think I should have talked more about, let me know in the comments. And let me know what your team build is going to look like for this movie hero stage so i won't be streaming this one unfortunately because i am working tomorrow so the plan is essentially to record the no item run on my phone straight away and then start grinding the world tournament and then when i get home from work i'll just record the commentary and put the video up for the no items run so let me know what teams you guys are going to use down below and uh yeah this one should be a free and easy clear so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one